Taylor. I'm from Orange Park, Florida with the People's Tea Party. My question is, health insurance is expensive because health care is expensive. What is your plan to reduce the cost of health care so that our insurance premiums and other related costs can also be reduced? All right, Mr. Kane. First, repeal Obamacare in its entirety. Amen. Secondly, pass market-driven patient-centered reforms, such as, under the current code, the deductibility of health insurance premiums, regardless of who pays for it. But as you know, I want to throw that out and put in my 999 plan. Secondly, the other thing that we can do in order to help bring down the cost is pass loser pay laws. Doctors will tell you that one of their biggest expenses is li medical liability insurance because of frivolous lawsuits. Secondly, restructure Medicare. Another big cost that's passed on to us as consumers related to all the bureaucracy associated with that. Another market-driven idea, allow association health plans. When I ran the National Restaurant Association, which today has 14 million employees, we wanted to design a system for health insurance that was going to be customized for our industry. We could not do that. We need to be allowed to do that, and so should other organizations and other associations. Thank you, Mr. King. Governor Romney, a lot of the Tea Party uh, supporters here and around the country have a real serious problem with the health care mandate that you got through in, in Massachusetts. Is there anything you want to say to them to revise or amend? Do you stand by what you did? Absolutely. And let me, let me come back and just mention something that Her Herman Cain is right. And let's come back to this getting the cost of health care down. I happen to think that's an enormous issue. And, and, and I agree with almost everything you said, Herman. But the reason health care is so expensive, I think you hit the nail on the head. You said it's not just because of insurance, it's because of the cost of providing care. And one reason for that is the person who receives care in America generally doesn't care how much it costs. Because once they've paid their deductible, it's free. And the provider, the more they do, the more they get paid. We have something that's not working like a market. It's working like a government utility. And so what we have to do is make sure that individuals have a concern and care about how much something costs. And for that to happen, health savings accounts. Give people a stake in what the cost of insurance is going to be, what the cost of care is going to be. Co-insurance, where people pay a share of the, of the bill. That makes a difference. And with regards to Massachusetts care, I'm not running for governor. I'm running for president. And if I'm president, on day one, I'll direct the Secretary of Health and Human Services to grant a waiver from Obamacare to all 50 states. It's a problem. It's bad law. It's unconstitutional. I'll get rid of it. All right. Uh, Governor Perry, uh, you're, you're a firm believer in states' rights. Can a state like Massachusetts go ahead and pass health care reform, including mandates? Is that a good idea, if Massachusetts wants to do it? Well, that's what Governor Romney wanted to do, so that, that's fine. But the, the fact of the matter is, um, that was the plan that President Obama has said himself was the model for Obamacare. And I, I think any of us who um, know that that piece of legislation will draw a line between the doctor-patient relationship that will cost untold billions of dollars uh, is not right for this country and frankly I don't think it was right for Massachusetts when uh, you look at what it's costing the people of Massachusetts today but at the end of the day that was their call so uh, from a just purely states get to decide what they want to do I agree with that and uh, in the state of Texas we don't think that's the way we want to go all right, well, you want, I, I, I'm going to let you respond, but I want to, uh, uh, well, uh, Governor Romney to respond first. First, I'd be careful about trusting what President Obama says, all right, as to what the uh, source was of his plan, number one. But number two, if you think what we did in Massachusetts and what President Obama did are the same, boy, take a closer look. Because number one, he raised taxes $500 billion and helped slow down the U.S. economy by doing it. We didn't raise taxes. He cut Medicare by $500 billion. This, the Democrat president, the liberal, so to speak, cut Medicare, not Republicans, the Democrat. We dealt with the people in our state that were uninsured, some 9%. His bill deals with 100% of the people. He puts in place a panel that ultimately is going to tell people what kind of care they can have. We didn't do anything like that. 
What the president did was simply wrong. It is the wrong course for America. It is not what we did in Massachusetts. The people of Massachusetts favor our plan to buy three to one. And states can make their own choices. Right. I'm happy to stand up for what we did. But I'll tell you one thing. What he did is wrong for America, and I'll stop it. Thank you, uh, Governor. I, I, before I get to Michelle Bachman, I want to just, you're a physician, Ron Paul, so you're a doctor. You know something about this subject. Let me ask you this hypothetical question. A healthy 30-year-old young man has a good job, makes a good living, but decides, you know what? I'm not going to spend $200 or $300 a month to, for health insurance because I'm healthy. I don't need it. But, you know, something terrible happens. Uh, he, all of a sudden, he needs it. Who's going to pay for if he goes into a coma, well, for example? In a, in a who, society, who pays for that? In a society that you accept welfareism and socialism, he expects the government to take care well, of it. What do him. you want? But what he should do is whatever he wants to do and assume responsibility for himself. My advice to him would have a major medical policy, but not before. But he doesn't have that. He doesn't have it, and, he's, and he, needs, he needs intensive care for six months. Who pays? That's what freedom is all about, taking your own risk. This whole idea that you have to prepare and take care of everybody. But, Congressman, are you saying the society should just let him die? Yeah. No. Yeah. I practiced medicine um, before we had Medicaid in the early 1960s when I got out of medical school. I practiced at Sa Santa Rosa Hospital in San Antonio, and the churches took care of them. We never turned anybody away from the hospital, and we've given up on this whole concept that we might take care of ourselves, it was some responsibility for ourselves, our neighbors, our friends, our churches would do it. This whole idea, that's the reason the cost is so high. The cost is so high, we cause a dumping on the government, becomes a bureaucracy, it becomes special interest, it kowtows to the insurance companies and the drug companies, and then on top of that you have the inflation. The inflation devalues the dollar. We have lack of competition. There's no competition in medicine. Everybody's protected by, by licensing. We should actually legalize alternative health care, allow people to have, practice what they want. Congressman Bachman, go ahead and, and weigh in on this hypothetical 30-year-old who needs six months of intensive care, has no insurance. Well, first of all, what I want to say, with all due respect to the governors, I've read this health care bill. I've been fighting this fight the last Which couple of years. Bill? President Obama's yes, okay. Obamacare bill. And waivers and executive orders won't cut it. If you could solve Obamacare with an executive order, any president could do it and any president could undo it. That's now not how it can be done. Plus, no state has the constitutional right to force a person as a condition of citizenship to buy a product or service against their will. It's unconstitutional, whether it's the state government or whether it's the federal government. The only way to eradicate Obamacare is to pull it out by the root and branch to fully repeal it. It's the only way we're going to get rid of it. And this is why I'm running for the presidency of the United States, because 2012 is it. This is the election that's going to decide if we have socialized medicine in this country or not. This is it. Why? I just have to say this. It's because President Obama embedded $105 billion, $464 million in Obamacare in post-dated checks to implement this bill. We are never going to get rid of it unless we have a president committed to getting rid of it. And if you believe right. that states can have it and that it's constitutional, you're not committed. If you've implemented this in your state, you're not committed. I'm committed to repealing Obamacare. Thank you. There is much, much more in this uh, Republican presidential debate. The CNN Tea Party uh, debate standby. We're taking another quick break. When we come back, national security, immigration, and a lot more. We'll be right back.